Hello everyone, welcome back to the revival. A couple of things to point out here. Uh, we've got a news story saying that Gunn has failed to find form and the supporters are unhappy about it. And then the very next one says, A new talent rises. Gunn has only just signed for the team, but he seems to fit in well. So, you know, make your mind up. What, which one do you want it to be? I'm not too worried about him though. We've had issues with players before where they've not necessarily fit in and uh, they've soon found their way into form so uh, yeah, it's not going to be an issue I don't think okay we've got a slight issue as regards the form of our players because both of our right backs have got absolutely awful form at the moment they're both on red arrows I'm just going to stick with Henriks because at least he is like defensively the most solid of the two uh, I think Maximan can have a game off and will probably play... We could play Farfan out there. Or we could play Coco. I'm going to give Coco a run out. He deserves a chance every now and then. Uh, we're also going to put Zakaria on the bench and... I think that will probably do as far as changes today. No need to upset the apple cart too much, especially against a team like Manchester United. You really need to make sure that you're playing with all guns blazing. And this is a team that I trust, even though not all of them are in the best of form. And I feel like we've got enough on the bench that we're not going to miss a player of Maximan's quality. But I could very well be proven wrong. We'll have to wait and see. This could end up being very embarrassing. It could be a massive egg on face moment. The team, as they always do, start with a huddle in the middle of the pitch, showing their solidarity and the community that has been fostered between us all here at this great club. Knocking it around looking for an opening at the moment. Uh, Manchester United get it off of us, but we soon win it back. Combination of Hayden and Shelby working to good effect. Now Hendricks down the right hand side looks for an early cross, finds his man. Unfortunately, however, unable to do anything with the ball. United now pass it back, lump it forward. Pretty effective work, actually. Well done, Shelby. Oh, but he just stands there afterwards admiring his work. And United get the ball back. It's Timo Werner. He's got a chance here. Goalkeeper stands up well. Shot goes harmlessly wide in the end. You can see what Schubert thinks of that defending, though. Plays a long ball out to the left wing back. Willems bringing it forward slowly, just looking for an option. Doesn't find much.
Newcastle in a little bit of disarray here at the moment. Need to be a little bit more calm on the ball. Here's Coco. It does very well until the tackle. Nearly. Thought Shelby might have picked up on that loose ball, but he couldn't quite manage it. This feels like a very bitty game at the moment. I'm not really feeling much in the way of a rhythm. Players aren't particularly linking up very well. know if Werner knew very much about that header and the referee's given the free kick the way of Manchester United I didn't see much wrong with that again I have to say just a good bit of physicality between two players I assume that the foul goes the way of Gerson mainly because he was the player that was more arguably in possession of the ball at the time. Now, which way has this gone? Oh, it's gone against us again. I see. That's how it's going to be, is it? That's a good one too. He's got a chance here. He's buried it. Timo Werner took a few games to get started, but he's back in the groove now. It's 1-0 to Newcastle. It's the first goal of the season for the German. And it was a lovely 1-2 manoeuvre between himself and Nkunku. Brilliant weighted pass, Werner using his strength to hold the man off and then finding the simplest of finishes to follow it up with. 1-0 Newcastle. And right on the stroke of half-time as well. Oh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer probably going to have to rip up whatever team talk he had at half-time. So will I. But it's definitely a problem that I'm much happier to have. Let's just hope for a little bit more fluidity in this second half. We've got the lead. Now we just need to consolidate it, make sure that we keep things solid at the back. was more of a hit and hope than anything but the goalkeeper absolutely fluffing it I 
On his left foot as well, Hayden. Not known for his left foot, I don't believe. Brilliant header, great save. It's going to be another corner. And someone somewhere is probably thinking to themselves, why is Matt Hummels taking corners? There's a very good reason for that. His delivery is excellent. Good save by the goalkeeper. Got us out of a little bit of trouble there. Oh, and Werner right up the other end. He's got a chance. It's 2-0. He doesn't need more than a half chance, this lad. He's doubled his tally. He's doubled the scoreline. It's 2-0 to Newcastle. And it's 2-0 to the European Player of the Year, Timo Werner. Good pass, brilliant take, excellent finish. Outside of the right boot as well, cheeky little bastard. Pitsy coming on for Gerson, he's not had the best of games Gerson. Could have been a very, very quick response from United there. Incisive pass. Luckily, a very, very bad finish. Out to the right wing now. Henrik's bringing the ball forward, looking for options. Plays it inside to Shelby. Pl uh, tries to play it forwards, doesn't quite manage it. Oh, 3 0! 3 0! Coco on his return to the team. A brilliant finish. And that's why I didn't want to sell him necessarily. He's a good player, he fits into the system, he can play on either wing and with his wrong foot he puts it past the goalkeeper, didn't even have to use the R2 button there, that was all his own finishing. Brilliant pace, great awareness, very alert to the possibility and he just ran onto that ball instantly, instantly took the chance, 3-0. This is a very good day to be a Newcastle United fan. A very good day indeed. It's always a good day when you can beat Manchester United. That's great from Hayden. quite take it right the control just wasn't there everything else about that move very encouraging that's great from Willems and immediately Newcastle on the counter attack and Kunku into Coco cross 
takes it. Can't get the ball down quick enough. Going to make some changes. I don't know if they're going to take effect. We're missing a right back. Machia can play left back, so he'll come on for Willems. Lascelles is going to have to come on at right back as a makeshift fullback. And I think maybe we'll give Almiron a little bit of a run out. We will just turn the attacking fullbacks off because I don't think Lascelles, as much as much as you know, God, God love him, he's a trier, but I don't think he's got the skill set to play as an attacking fullback. Where he does love a marauding run, so I could be wrong. I don't know what they're giving a foul for here. Breathing, apparently, is uh, now a, a bookable offence. Oh, there we go. It's good to know. Oh, that's cheeky. Referee, that's got to be a foul. How, how are you not giving that as a foul when you gave a foul that was literally a guy looking at his opposition the wrong way? That's awful. Junior, lung-busting run here. Oh, it's still Junior. That's got to be a free kick. What the hell, referee? That's absolutely criminal that that's not a free kick. Oh, surely. Ah, oh, no. Just can't get it out from under his feet. The control just let him down there. It's really unfortunate. It was a lovely move up until that point. Every time Newcastle get the ball, they look like they're going to score. Again. Where is the whistle for the foul? Well, it doesn't matter because there's the whistle for the final... Well, the final whistle. <laughs> it's 3-0 to Newcastle. Tino Werner with two goals to his name. Coco with the third on his return to the team. A really, really good performance by Newcastle at home after the disappointment of the Bournemouth match. We're back to winning ways and we're back to the team that we should be. Quick look at the stats reveals that we had the better of the possession. We made more passes. We definitely had more chances and we had more on target as well. We were good defensively, making 12, sorry, 15 interceptions, two tackles, and uh, only two saves required from Schubert. Not bad, not bad. As we said, that those ratings could be better. So there are the re other results for today. I'm not going to bother you with reading through all of them. You could always pause the video if there's one that takes your eye particularly. So there we go. And that is the state of the Premier League table after three games played. Chelsea are now the only team that have a perfect record. Three played, three wins nine points on the board five goals for and none against
thankfully we don't have to worry about national call-ups anymore. Well, we have to worry about call-ups as far as our players are concerned. But I am not an international manager anymore. Having won the World Cup, I've just decided that nah, I've had enough of that. So uh, now I just have to worry about players coming back injured. Now, speaking of injuries, Junior has picked up a bruise in the uh, in the match that we just played. He's going to be out until sometime in September. Being as it's already the 22nd of September, I'm not too worried. It probably means he'll miss the next game and that's about it. Uh, we've had some call-ups to the international squads, but it doesn't say who exactly. It would be nice if it did. And Almiron has had a role change. He's now a great playmaker. I always had him down as that, but there we go. Okay, so that's going to do us for another episode. Next time, we're going to be playing against Chelsea in the Premier League. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.